Brittner was a 2001 graduate of Greenfield High School. Ben Jordan shares how his legacy will be remembered at that school. Again, he graduated. He's homegrown right here from the Milwaukee area. We've seen a lot of support come in for him and his family. Here's Ben Jordan's story. Greenfield High School staff says Rittner participated in a number of sports during his time here, but it was another extracurricular activity that led him to his passion. This is him in his freshman year in wrestling. Flipping through yearbooks to find one familiar face. Matt graduated in 2001. Comes with pain and memories for this Greenfield High School teacher. At first, it just, it just, you go into shock. Kevin Murphy stunned that a student he coached on the wrestling mat for four years is no longer with us. He was a small guy, so wrestling fit him well. Murphy says Matt Rittner wasn't his best athlete, but put in the extra work to make varsity. He liked to compete. He knew when he had to be serious, and that's what he did. While it was wrestling that taught Rittner about teamwork, it was junior ROTC where he learned how to become a leader, eventually turning into his life's work as a military and police veteran. He's obviously been a, a true example of what we would like cadets to become. Master Sergeant John Olson says Rittner's passing turned into a tough lesson for his cadets today of the sacrifice that comes with serving. A lot of them uh, became a little more shocked and surprised because um, Matthew is now going to hold a distinction is that he is the uh, first former cadet that has lost his life uh, in the line of duty. Sergeant Olson says when the state calls for flags to be lowered to half staff for Rittner, he plans to have his ROTC students do the honor. At Greenfield High School, Ben Jordan, today's TMJ4.